action. Hello, how are you? And welcome to our week five of Calm and Relax. Obviously, we're not at Camp Current today. We are at the beach um, because we felt like the beach was very appropriate for feeling calm and relaxed. So with me today, you notice Lily is not here. It's a little windy for her, um, but she is in a great place and she is relaxing and she's taking in the sun. So as always, we have our Camp Current there here. Okay, he's with us and we have a new friend named Ogie Bogie. So he's familiar to you, but now he's come alive or she's come alive, right? And she's from the book. So that's our Elephant Yogi. And Elephant Yogi is gonna help share the story with us today. And of course, you always have to make sure you drink a lot of water when you're at the beach. And we've got a couple shells that we've collected. So boys and girls, today's story is about Raheem. And Raheem's story is all about when you need to slow down and breathe. Okay, so get very comfortable, get to a spot where you feel you can listen to the story. It's not very long, but think about all the different characters we've learned about. Okay, not many pictures, but there will be two poses that I will teach you how to do in order to slow down and breathe. Ogie Bogie, Kai, and Shauna walked along the path that led them out of the forest. They sat down to rest on a log by the shore of a small lake. The water was so clear that Shauna could see fish swimming at the bottom. Is that a mountain over there, asked Kai. He was looking past the lake and, and past the field of yellow, blue, and pink wildflowers on the other side. Yes, Ogie Bogie, it's a mountain. Where did it come from, asked Kai. It wasn't here the last time we went to your yoga school. We didn't need a mountain the last time you were here, Kai, said Ogie Bogie. That's Speed Bump Mountain. It shows itself when we need it. There's a reason why it's here now. I'm sure we'll find out why soon. Why is it called Speed Bump Mountain, asked Kai. Think about the last time you were in a car with your dad and you had to drive over a bump in the road, said Ogie Bogie. What happened? Dad slowed down. What would have happened if he didn't slow down? The car would hit the bump and shake us around and jumble us up until we got back on a smooth road, said Kai. Right. A speed bump is something that makes you slow down. Speed Bump Mountain will make us slow down because we will have to take our time and be careful so that we can climb over it and get to the other side. Kai and Shauna stared at Speed Bump Mountain. It was big. It looked like it touched the sky. It was covered with green trees except for the top. The top was covered with snow and ice. Do we have to climb over it, asked Shauna. Yes, we have to climb over it, said Ogie Bogie, but there is a path we can follow. Cool, said Kai. It looks hard, said Shauna. Do we need ropes and special clothes for sh and shoes for the icy part? We won't have to climb that high, said Ogie Bogie, but we will have to climb a part of the way. Let's rest for a little bit before we start. When they were rested, Ogie Bogie, Kai, and Shauna walked around the edge of the lake through the field of yellow, blue, and pink wildflowers and stopped at the foot of the mountain. Ogie Bogie pointed to the path they would take. It looks pretty rocky, said Kai. It looks really steep, said Shauna. We'll go slowly, one step at a time, said Ogie Bogie. Oh, look, Shauna bent down to pick up a brown bag from the trail. She opened it, peeked inside, and took out something that looked like a big letter L. So boys and girls, the letter L. She showed it to Ogie Bogie. What's this, she asked. Hmm, said Ogie Bogie. It's an inhaler for someone who has asthma. What's asthma, said Shauna. I know, said Kai. A lot of kids at my school have it. It can be hard to breathe sometimes when you have asthma. You have to use an inhaler to pump medicine into your lungs to help you breathe. Someone must have lost this one. Hold on to it, Shauna, said Ogie Bogie. If we find out who lost it, that person will need it, especially to climb Speed Bump Mountain. They began to climb up the mountain, slowly, one step at a time. They hadn't gone far when they heard a wheezing sound. We found the person who lost the inhaler, said Ogie Bogie. They went around the bend and saw a boy sitting on the ground. He was holding his chest. He was gasping and wheezing. He was having a hard time breathing. Shauna handed the paper, sorry, the brown paper bag to the boy. My inhaler, he gasped. He tore open the bag, put the inhaler to his mouth, and took in several deep breaths. Soon it was easy for him to breathe. He stopped gasping and wheezing. He looked up at Shauna. Hey, thanks. He turned toward Ogie Bogie. Miss Ogie Bogie, I am ever glad to see you. 
Ogie Bogie blinked her eyes in surprise. You know who I am? I sure do. Juan is a friend of mine. He wanted me to meet him today at your yoga school. What's your name, asked Shauna. What did you wish for, asked Kai. I'm Rahim and I came to Interville because Juan told me that yoga could help me with my asthma. I want to play soccer and I can't because I have trouble breathing when I run. Who is Juan, asked Kai. Juan was here last week, said Ogie Bogie. I taught him how to pay attention so that he could do better in his math class. Yeah, and it worked, said Rahim. He got a B plus on his last test. This made Ogie Bogie happy. She liked knowing that the yoga she taught children helped to solve their problems. Welcome to Interville, Rahim, she said. Come with us. We are meeting Juan and some other children at my school. We are going to do more yoga. I really want to, but I don't think I can, said Rahim. It will be too hard for me to breathe and climb the big mountain. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't found my inhaler, he sighed. I guess I'll have to go home. Climbing a mountain is just too hard. Maybe, said Ogie Bogie, and maybe not. She put out her trunk for Rahim to grab onto as she pulled him up to stand. Now, she said, let's do some yoga that will stretch your chest muscles and expand your lungs. Yoga breathing exercises can help you breathe better when you climb Speed Bump Mountain with us, slowly, one step at a time. Ogie Bogie taught Rahim to do the whispering breath first. So boys and girls, the next two poses I'm gonna show you, but we also have uploaded it to Google Classroom. So in the same spot where you're going to see um, things for today, like the story that I'm reading in this video, it will show you how to do these different poses. So the first one is called a whispering breath, okay? So you can do this sitting up or you can do it standing. I'm gonna sit, okay? So you're gonna get comfortable, keep your spine straight, you're gonna relax your shoulders, Taking a deep breath through your nose. Pucker your lips as though you were going to whistle. And then let your breath out slowly through your mouth. Pretend you're trying to make a candle flame wiggle, but don't blow it out. And you're gonna practice whispering breath for two or three minutes. So boys and girls, pretend like you have bubbles. Or you can go like a shh, so you're gonna go like this. So do it as many times as it helped you. So let me read a little bit more and then I'll explain the next pose. Ogie Bogie told Rahim that doing the whispering breath would help him pay attention to how he was breathing. The whispering breath would help make his breathing muscles stronger. The whispering breath would help him take longer to let his breath out. Taking a longer time to let his breath out would help him relax his lung muscles. Then Ogie Bogie taught Rahim how to do the chest expander. She asked him to do it slowly. The chest expander would stretch his muscles and make room in his lungs to hold more air. This would help make it easier for him to breathe more deeply. So for this one, you can sit if you're in a chair at school or you can stand up. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this down, okay? And you're gonna stand up nice and tall, relax your arms at your side, and then you're gonna interlace your hands behind you and you're expanding your chest. So pretend like your heart is popping out of your chest, right? And you're giving lots of love and you're pulling down with your arms and you're making like a big balloon with your belly, okay? So sometimes if we're doing like cat-cow, this is more of a cow pose, right? But now we're releasing our chest out, our stomach out, and then I'm interlacing my hands. And then you can do that a couple times. So that's called the chest expander. And remember that breath. Okay, let's see what happens in the rest of the story. Okay, let's get our friends ready to listen. Oops. Well, we'll have to fix that later. We'll fix that later. That's okay. All right. Bogey, Bogey, Raheem, Kai, and Shauna did the whispering breath and the chest expander three times, right? Breath, body, mind. That's why we do three wants to stretch their breathing muscles and make room in their lungs to hold more air, wants to slow down their breathing, and wants to take a longer time to let their breath out slowly. Wow, I can feel more space in my chest. And I could feel my breath go deeper in my lungs, said Rahim. Can I get my, can I get rid of my inhaler if I do these breathing exercises every day? No, said Ogie Bogie, but if you do yoga breathing every day, you may not need your inhaler as much. Maybe your asthma attacks won't happen as often. 
but you must never, ever get rid of your inhaler unless your doctor says that it's okay. That is very important, she said. I have to be sure that you understand what I am telling you to do. Yes, Miss Ogie Bogie, said Rahim, I understand. Good, now let's climb Speed Bump Mountain. And remember, we're going to do this very slowly, one step at a time. Ogie Bogie, Kai, Shauna, and Rahim climb the steep and rocky path on Speed Bump Mountain slowly, taking one step at a time. They did not chant because they needed to save all their energy to breathe slowly and deeply. So, boys and girls, I want you to think about how Rahim was able to calm his breath down, what yoga um, expanders he used it, he used, and how to slow down your breath. So those are some breathing techniques in case you ever get anxious or upset or angry. You can always do your chest expander and your whisper breath, okay? And hopefully that will help you feel better. So until next time, Rahim and Ogie Bogey and Current, we all say, take a deep breath and we all say, Namaste.